Is Jimmy Donaldson, aka Mr. Beast, the world's most controversial YouTuber? Although still in his early 20s, the influencer already has years' worth of social media experience and a career that other content creators would envy. That said, he isn't always spreading joy and giving money away. There have been multiple instances when the YouTube star has made poor decisions that have led him straight into controversy. In today's video, we'll be discussing some moments that almost got Mr. Beast cancelled. First, he was criticized for $3.5 million real-life Squid Game. Part of being a YouTuber, requires capitalizing on the latest cultural sensations, and Mr. Beast has a special knack for tapping into what people really want to see. Unfortunately, in his pursuit of numbers and view counts, he sometimes jumps into a project without thinking about how people who don't share his perspective might react. This appears to be what happened when he recreated scenes from Squid Game for his video. Mr. Beast announced on TikTok in October 2021 that he'd recreate the mega-hit South Korean Netflix show in real life if his TikTok got 10 million likes. After it raced past 10 mil, the most multi-millionaire set about recreating all the games from the show. It was about debt-ridden Koreans playing to the death for a chance to win 45.6 billion won in prize money. The concept was simple. Participants would play the games featured in the show, and, in a classic Mr. Beast fashion, winners would be able to walk away with huge cash prizes. Mr. Beast probably just wanted to have a fun time with the viral show while also giving away some money, but the video received major backlash online. The National was one of many outlets that reported on the frustration sparked by the recreation of the game show. While he poured millions of dollars into recreating all the events from the TV show, many felt he didn't seem to consider what the meaning behind the original show was. Some viewers were disappointed that he was flaunting wealth disparity by going to such lengths to recreate the show, which had itself tried to criticize those exact divides, most particularly in South Korea. Critics felt Mr. Beast's video was definitely made in poor taste, but it still raked in millions of views, and the YouTuber quickly moved on to other ventures. Next, we had a problematic clubhouse meeting. Mr. Beast caused a stir during an online event hosted on the audio app Clubhouse back in early 2021. According to Insider, Mr. Beast was hosting an event with 1,400 listeners, and he was in charge of giving audience members the chance to speak. Things were running smoothly for the most part, until Clubhouse host Farak Sarmad wanted an opportunity to speak. Sarmad said that Mr. Beast then removed him from the meeting, saying, I can't spell your name, so I'm going to vote you out. Sarmad called him out not long after the incident, but some of the YouTuber's fans were quick to come to his defense on Twitter, insisting that Sarmad had probably misunderstood understood his comments. They insisted that Mr. Beast hadn't acted in a racist manner, but Farouk Sarmad saw it differently. When Insider brought up a recording of the infamous meeting that included a more harmless response from Mr. Beast, Farouk told publications that this was only part of a much longer interaction. Farouk explained that from an outsider's perspective seeing the video probably felt like he was making stuff up, but insisted that racist undertones were definitely there. Mr. Beast might not have intended to cause harm in this case, but it doesn't mean his words and actions in this instance aren't worth discussing. The YouTuber never officially responded to this controversy, and then he created a toxic workplace. Mr. Beast's videos aren't a one-man show anymore. Nowadays, he has an entire team of people helping him to film, create, and edit all of his videos. He may only be 24 years old, but the star is a real boss and business owner, and according to some of his past employees, his management skills leave much to be desired. The New York Times interviewed a couple of his ex-employees and uncovered some allegedly unsavory behavior. Matt Turner, a former employee of his, used to edit videos for him but claims that he was was never credited for his work. As if that isn't bad enough, Turner also revealed that the social media star would insult and berate him daily, frequently using a term used to insult people with mental disabilities to drag Turner down. And he's not the only one to allegedly have a bad experience working for Mr. Beast. Nate Anderson quit his editing job after just a week and posted a video on YouTube titled, My Experience Editing for Mr. Beast, Worst Week of My Life. The video was removed after Anderson said he received death threats from angry fans. In total, the New York Times spoke to about a dozen former employees employees who had negative things to say about the YouTuber. These ex-employees voiced complaints ranging from lack of credit to frequent verbal abuse to a lack of work ethics. Now, if Mr. Beast wants to keep his positive image, he might want to make some changes in his workplace. Of course, we had the cryptocurrency scandal. It's not just former employees who are upset with the influencer, some of his biggest fans are too. Cryptocurrency is pretty popular right now, and Mr. Beast has gotten in on the trend, but it seems like his recent venture into the blockchain ended in disaster. When his fans began taking an interest in Refinable, the YouTube YouTuber followed the coin on Twitter. Shortly after that, Refinable began using the social media personality's image in its marketing. Gfinity Esports speculated that this marketing campaign was the biggest reason why the coin launched with a value of $8.35 per coin, more than 20 times its expected launch price. But it looks like the bigger they are, the harder they fall. As of mid-2022, Refinable's price is less than 5 cents per coin, meaning that many who got in had lost big. Some fans who bought Refinable after seeing Mr. Beast ads felt they'd been scammed out of their money. It wasn't 
long before Refinable was being reported on as potentially participating in a scam scheme. Some fans questioned whether or not Mr. Beast had intended to mislead his fans by allowing Refinable to use him in marketing. They continued to call for a statement from him after Refinable made its own public comments on the situation. However, the YouTuber remained quiet. Then there was the transphobic 52 genders joke. In one of his videos, Mr. Beast appears in a sketch comedy bit that ridicules the idea of multiple genders. Another person in the piece gets angry when Mr. Beast doesn't understand he sexually identifies as an attack helicopter and then begins to attach pieces of cardboard to his arms as various scenes depict him whirling around the neighborhood acting like an aerial vehicle. Jimmy also addressed the camera in the video to himself, stating that he was born a tank, but sadly, it wasn't one of our 52 genders. He also questioned if someone was just sitting there and getting paid to think of genders. His comments regarding gender rubbed some people the wrong way. While others posted the video clip in an attempt to raise a collective discussion on the mindset differences pertaining to gender that have occurred over the last few years. Some have said that citing the year it occurred and Mr. Beast's relative youth was no excuse for what had transpired in the video. Comedian Dennis Fitosa posted the video clip on his Twitter account, along with screenshots of him reaching out to Mr. Beast, asking for comments on the seemingly transphobic remarks. Some people accused Dennis of attempting to chase clout for going after Mr. Beast with the accusations of transphobia, while others thought he needed his account removed for making the joke. However, for the most part, people seem to be on the side of Mr. Beast, highlighting his years of philanthropy and kind-heartedness. So, there's that. And finally, the homophobic comments. Mr. Beast was still a teen when he became a YouTube star, and of course, like most teenagers on the internet, he had a habit of saying things that he'd later come to regret. In 2018, The Atlantic took a look at his history of using homophobic slurs online. There was a phase when Mr. Beast repeatedly used homophobic slurs on Twitter while interacting with fans and haters. In some of his previous videos, especially his early content, homosexuality was regularly referenced as a joke, and the social media influencer seemed pretty oblivious to how hurtful his comments were. The facts of the article were bad enough themselves, but Mr. Beast's response to getting called out only seemed to make matters worse. When The Atlantic approached him for a comment, he said that he wasn't offensive to anyone. He even went as far as to remark, I'm just going to ignore it. I don't think anyone really cares about this stuff. Despite Mr. Beast's nonchalance, people still do care about this kind of thing, and it turns out he may have cared much more than he let on while giving his comment. In the wake of the article, Mr. Beast did seem to tone down his language on Twitter, and these days in his videos, he no longer makes jokes at the expense of any one group of people. In this instance, it looks like he's genuinely learned his lesson. And that's a wrap for this video. Which of these Mr. Beast incidents did you find most controversial? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one!